Okay there, so now that we have installed OpenFun, okay, so you have here two OpenFun installations. Also in this installation, I created this directory where you have all the tutorials and also the, the slides, the deck of slides. Remember, you need to compress this. Also, installing Dakota, maybe also Anaconda Python. So it doesn't matter. You can keep adding applications. But the interesting sense that it may happen that remember this installation is 50 gigs, but also uh, uh, we have it installed in a location in Windows. So remember, if you want to change your Windows installation just to save time, now you need to recompile everything and reinstall everything again. Just compress your home directory and then just put it outside so you can do something. Let me show you uh, actions up in here. Okay, so you are here and go one directory back and compress this one so you can go like this. Okay, and you will compress everything. Then you are going to move that folder somewhere else outside Linux. So you copy into Windows and then you do another reinstallation Okay, with larger size, I guess you, you will you would like to do it because you run out of space, whatever. So it's a larger size, and then you copy this folder, and you have everything installed. Remember that you will install the same libraries. Okay, that is how how I do it. But the thing that I want to show you now is that how to move this image from computer to computer is relative easy. We already do, did it. So. To do that, you need to shoot, uh, shoot it down, but it's important that whatever you have your your installation, I have it here, you will see when this machine is running, you have this directory, lock file, though you are locking everything, okay? So it's important that you need to close everything first, okay? So you shut it down, shut down, Okay, so you will close Linux installation. Those directories are going to disappear. So sometimes can happen that your Linux installation, this one, will crash for 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 whatever reason. So if it crash and if you see that you have your those log file uh, directories, you can erase them manually. You see that now they disappear. So you see that we have all these files. Okay, and what we want to do is just move it somewhere else. Okay, or do a, a backup. So I will copy everything. Okay, and then I will move it. I have an external hard drive here, and I will move that here to this directory, okay? So I can just copy everything. So here, while, while it moves everything, we need to wait a little bit. So let's wait while, while it copy everything, and then we, we retake it, okay? So in my case, I already moved everything to a USB key, uh, to a USB hard drive or a key can be also have in mind now that you are working in a external USB hard drive. Probably the performance will be will be diminished because you know the USB interface is a little bit slower. But in any case. So remember, what we need here is just when, when I give you the files, I'm going to only give you the virtual machine, this one, and the uh, BMX file, okay? So for instance, let me go, you need this one, let me erase this, let me erase this one. These are just log files, okay, stuff that you need. So basically, these are the only two files that you need to launch the virtual machine, okay? So let me do some cleaning here. So if I you go here, launch VM, 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 VMware and then file open and I want to open a virtual machine it's located in E I put it in TMP I have it here and then just choose the BMX 
and then you are going to lo load that one. So, well, the names were the same because the folder were the same, but as you launch, so as you go here, edit virtual machine settings, see that you can set all the settings all the time, okay? You can change it, okay? So here's where you have the location of the, if you are reading the, the EC image, everything. And here's where you have your VND DK with the virtual machine, okay? So we're happy with this uh, setup. Remember this uh, a machine setting is uh, machine dependent. So whatever your configuration is, you, you will need to adjust that one, okay? Um, now just launch, press play. So I move it or you copy. So let's say that I copy it. So I just made a copy of that virtual machine. So I see that it's creating all these folders. It's locking the machine, whatever. So you, for the moment, you need to, to change anything there. Okay. So sometimes when your machine, your virtual machine, just have problems and you don't manage to switch it off. Probably what, what you need to do before launching a new one, just erase this directory, the LCK, the lock directories but the rest is, is fine. So now it's launching. Uh, you will realize that it's a little bit slower because now it's just, uh, I am running from an external USB drive. So you have this uh, passing the information, everything that will make it a little bit slower. And let's wait. So it's launching everything. Soon we shall have the interface and everything. Okay, so here we have the login screen, CFD1234. And then again, it will launch everything, it will start to load everything. So immediately you will realize that it's slower, but I just thought you remember that it's just going through the USB interface. You are doing this one in your hard drive using the SATA interface or whatever interface, just directly your motherboard is just, let's say, light speed. Okay, so now you launch, you have everything, and see that we move the virtual machine from one computer to the other. Okay, oh, okay, so here I make a mistake that I, by mistake, I press right click and then it's copying everything that I have in my, uh, that I, I had previously in, in, in the paste. Okay, so this will take a time. So here, there is no way to stop, so let me, uh restart the okay it's copying so this is time consuming so be careful now sometimes when you have large large files so in this case i have the i had this large file and then it will move everything inside and it will be a little bit cons time consuming now moving everything Okay, so at this point, okay, uh, okay, it stop moving the files. Okay, so but but be careful. Okay, so when you are copying files, be careful. The, the last one that you have, that you are copying here, be sure that it's not a large one. So choose something small because if you go go here, if you press, sometimes you press right click, it will paste everything in in, in your in your virtual machine. So this is it, you have everything here. It's a virtual machine fully working and running here for my USB drive. You can move it whatever you want. So something I buy, something that I do very often, I, I keep keep running simulation, developing and installing stuff. So remember to back up your virtual machine. So I always move it very often. I, I have it in my, my, my OneDrive, okay? You put it in, in, in one in one drive and just back up that pe periodically, so you can compress everything. I will give you the link with the compressed virtual machine. So at, at this point, I think you have the idea how how to move the virtual machine. So I can stop at this point and see you in the next video that I will show you how to install. Uh, additional application. So for instance, I will show you how to do the installation for Dakota and probably if some other applications comes to my mind, I can show you. But at this point, we have the most important applications that we need now for the course, which is open phone and probably also on account of Python. And we're done. So thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.